When a practicing hematologist sees a patient who presents either with constitutional symptoms or no constitutional symptoms feeling well, but a routine CBC shows a leukocytosis with shift immaturity, basophilia, and on physical exam there is splenomegaly, 98 times out of 100, that patient is going to have chronic myeloid leukemia, likely in chronic phase. And in fact, you can make the diagnosis of CML in a very non-invasive way by checking for the BCR, ABL gene rearrangement in the peripheral blood by FISH or by, P by PCR. I do not recommend that. I recommend a more thorough evaluation of the disease status at the time of diagnosis. It's the same recommendation made by European Leukemia Net and the National Comprehensive Cancer Network. In short, the patient should have a bone marrow biopsy. It gives you morphologic evidence of accelerated phase with fibrosis or clustering of immature cells that might be important in choosing appropriate therapy. The second thing it allows you to do is to get a cytogenetic analysis which requires metaphase chromosomes in which you might see clonal evolution, other cytogenetic changes, which again would upstage the patient to accelerated phase. So I find that important. And finally, there are some patients who don't have a Philadelphia chromosome by metaphase chromosomes. It's important to know that at the time of diagnosis when the disease burden is highest so you don't mistake a negative test six or 12 months later as a complete cytogenetic remission. I do a fish analysis as well because about 10% of those patients will have a variant fish pattern that is best to know at the time of diagnosis. And then finally, RT-PCR should be done at the time of diagnosis. It could be used as a baseline for the patient's response, but more importantly, you need to verify that the primers that are used in most com um, com uh, commercial labs for the detection of the BCR able transcript are applicable to this patient. Rare patients will have variant breakpoints which will not be captured or amplified by the primers used in commercial laboratories. If you don't do that test at diagnosis when the disease burden is high, you may then misinterpret a test later on showing a low number of copies as a negative test, whereas it was really just an inefficient amplification using the wrong primers later on.